Thunder Bay is a beautiful and unique city located on the northern shore of Lake Superior and is home to endless natural beauties. Northwestern Ontario holds a total population of 230,000 people on over half a million square kilometers. While most of the population is divided between two cities, Thunder Bay and Kenora, the remainder live in small towns and First Nations reserves, many of which have less than a thousand residents. Our specific geography provides us with a unique set of needs to address. Many of our members are active in the community and have been involved in numerous initiatives. We reflected on these experiences as well as reached out to community leaders, organizations, and residents to determine our projects. Did you know it takes 450 to 1,000 years for a plastic water bottle to disintegrate? Each year, 2 million water bottles are consumed, about 22 million pounds of plastic. Around 642,000 foreign students attend school in Canada, the world's third leading destination for international students. Our needs assessment led us to develop three innovative projects. Today, we'll be, we will be presenting Dear Stranger, Gang Financially Lit, and Water Ed, along with our impact that they had. Our first project, Dear Stranger, is an anonymous online peer support platform for international students which enable them to meet and connect with their peers and like-minded individuals as well as encourage the use of on-campus support systems. The project addresses the need of international students facing language barriers, culture shock, loneliness and feeling disconnected from their culture when they first arrive in Canada. The project encourages students to fight the stigma towards mental health and raise awareness surrounding the mental health, wellness and illness while creating a more approachable platform for students to ask help without the fear of being judged. Our project also includes an option for students to be able to communicate in their home language through our bilingual volunteers. Dear Stranger mainly targets youth between the ages of 18 to 25 who are beginning their university career and wish to help them to get settled at Lakehead University in our city of Thunder Bay. Students will anonymously engage with each other on the website by posting on different forms categories and replying on various threads. Throughout the year, we will be engaging students through various discussion threads and polls about the university life. Dear Stranger has been able to have a strong positive impact on our members. Members of our site were able to gain valuable study tips related to their programs. For example, one of our volunteers was able to aid a student in nursing with clinical work. They were able to get to know the city of Thunder Bay as well as have access to their financial literacy workshops. These are just a few of the benefits of Dear Stranger. Our upper year volunteers were also able to partake in a mental health training workshop held by our university's Health and Wellness Center, which improved their understanding of the mental health on campus. Our project increased the mental health resilience of youth by giving them a platform to express their concerns and feelings. Our platform gives the option to be anonymous so that students can avoid the pressure of being judged for their posts. 51 youth were directly impacted from this program, being made aware of mental issues and how to manage them, as well as received access to mental health resources. 25% observed a change after an interaction in the youth's self-reported ability to manage mental health and help a peer, as well as 25% observed change, a change knowledge on where to get help. Dear Stranger has had 252 unique visitors, 478 site engagements in the last year, 238 people engaged with forms Dear Stranger provides, and 112 people felt engaged with Need Resource Pages, a page where mental health resources can be found. Because this year's pilot session at Lakehead University went so well, We'll be looking to utilize the wide range of the Enactus network to expand our platform to other universities and colleges across Canada with the help of various grants we have received along the way by expanding our team's knowledge base through additional training as well as hiring outside consultants in digital marketing and website management. As we continue to support the students in our school communities, one of our other projects, Getting Financially Lit, is working to improve the lives of Indigenous youth surrounding our community. Gating Financially Lit focuses on Indigenous youth in Northwestern Ontario. Over 25% of people living in Northwestern Ontario are of Indigenous heritage, of which about 60% live in rural communities, including students from 20 remote communities in the Sioux Lookout District, 
who travel to Thunder Bay for secondary education. These communities are all located hundreds of miles north of Thunder Bay, with many only accessible by plane. Thunder Bay has the highest proportion of indigenous peoples of any major center in Canada. Approximately 13% of the population of the greater Thunder Bay area are of indigenous heritage. To develop a better understanding of what was affecting indigenous peoples specifically in our community, we ran various in-person interviews over the years. The Aboriginal Initiatives Department at Lakehead University and Mufat Makuro, Executive Director for the Multicultural Association of Northwestern Ontario, were essential to our understanding and growth. Our team partnered with Lakehead University Financial Aid to develop a comprehensive seminar to address key knowledge gaps. We also partnered with the Equity Knowledge Network from the University of Ottawa for funding. This led to the development of our workshop series. This year, we have continued to conduct workshops and harness our connections from last year's pilot sessions. Get Fin Lit has pivoted to an online format due to the COVID-19 pandemic in order to allow continuous accessibility. To begin, we scaled our project this year to provide this workshop for a local post-secondary institution known as Oski Pamachi Owen, the Wenjak Education Institute. They offer programs such as police foundations, social work, and business to Indigenous students. Given the online format, 14 students that were either residing in Thunder Bay or their home reserves experienced small group workshops as part of their student orientation. We included a question at the end of the Zoom poll to ask how they found the workshop and whether they believe they gained valuable knowledge. With this, 80% found they gained significant knowledge and enjoyed the workshop. Our knowledge tests were delivered through a Zoom poll, and from these, students scored 80% on their knowledge of budgeting, 75% on their knowledge of obtaining and managing a bank account, 85% on their knowledge of searching for and obtaining scholarships and 100% on their knowledge pertaining to job skills. To further our impact, we ran individual workshops at Lakehead University with a focus on international students. 17 individuals registered for the workshop with specified interests in opportunities to further job skills, scholarships, and how to budget during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, actual follow-through to attend this meeting was lacking, and we are examining the effects of Zoom fatigue to combat. We also ran Zoom polls during this workshop to assess basic understanding of the content. All were university-level participants that scored 100% on all questions, showing a knowledge and understanding of the concepts we are teaching. We also gauged perceived benefit and engagement from the workshop, with 60% expressing they felt they had learned something valuable, and the other 40% for which the workshop exceeded their expectations. This year, our project impacted 19 people and provided them with necessary financial literacy skills to achieve their goal. The inclusion of Indigenous and international peoples into the Canadian economy provides a better tomorrow for all of us. And while we work on expanding and establishing our positions fully in the local market, we have created a third project, Water Ed. What if I told you that there's an edible capsule capable of englobing water and that can be used as a substitute for plastic water bottles? And what if I told you that those same capsules could be efficient enough for consumers to utilize, for example, during outdoor activities or sporting events and produce no waste? Water Ed is a project designed to create edible, biodegradable, marketable water bottles through a reaction of sodium alginate and a calcium chloride. This reaction results in a capsule capable of englowing water or even other liquids. Water Ed's technique is based on molecular gastronomy, which concerns the physical and chemical transformations of food that occur while cooking. While Water Ed's main goal is to reduce plastic waste in Thunder Bay and eventually in Canada, the project is currently in the prototyping stages. We have already created an initial prototype which we would continue to enhance. Our two goals with this prototype in the future are to increase its durability and ensure its hygiene. In order to achieve these goals, we will continue our research and reach out to experienced people and departments, such as the Sustainable Food Systems Lab at Lakehead University, who will be helping us during the optimization process, potentially creating new jobs. The final vision for WaterEd is for it to resemble the function, size, and shape of an orange, having a thicker outer layer protecting the capsule inside. This potential design will ensure both of the goals previously mentioned are met. 
Our initial target market involves people engaged in outdoor activities, such as marathons. Later, our market could be expanded to different sports events or concerts. Seeing other types of projects that already exist, I realized I could have even more impact by sharing the story of my own journey with others to inspire younger students to consider entrepreneurship as a viable career and to help them envision themselves participating in a globalized marketplace. We consider youth empowerment key for a better future. So while Water Ed is going through its initial stages, we decided to deliver an entrepreneurship workshop for middle schoolers in my home city, Guadalajara. During the workshops, students were able to learn about the meaning of entrepreneurship, its relation to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the importance of climate change, and the meaning and application of STEM, all while having Water Ed as an example of a current entrepreneurial project. The students were then asked to come up with a creative solution for an SDG of their choice, point out the purpose of their project, and consider the challenges they may face during the process. At the end of the workshop, students were tested through a 10-question Kahoot quiz in which 70% of the students got a perfect score, demonstrating the educational effectiveness of the workshop. In the end, through Enactus, Water Ed was directly responsible for a new business creation, while helping me start my own path as an entrepreneur. Furthermore, 41 ninth grade students from Colegio Británico de Guadalajara were able to improve their entrepreneurial skills and apply their knowledge to their own academic assignments while being actively exposed to entrepreneurship. Over the course of this year, we have directly impacted over 100 individuals. Our dedicated team has volunteered over 3,300 hours to improve the lives of others. And we look forward to building our connections so that our projects can make even a larger impact. We are passionate about creating positive change in Northern Ontario.